So imagine you're cooking this amazing meal and you're using all kinds of tools and knives and ingredients and you notice a wet spot on the floor so you accidentally turn around and kind of slip on it. But as you're slipping, you realize that you have a butcher knife in your hand and as you're falling, you happen to just stick that butcher knife right into your stomach and your friends and family are freaking out. They have no idea how to react, but they know that if you stay there, you're gonna die. So they rush you to the emergency room and the emergency doctor looks at you, looks at the knife, looks at you, looks at the knife, and then he pulls out Tylenol and he gives you Tylenol. And then you're like, I'm dying. I'm physically dying and you give me Tylenol and the doctor says, well, yeah, you told me you also had a headache. You see, he's treating the symptoms of something deeper. And that same knife, that illustration of the knife is the same thing that we have going on inside us. That knife is self-seeking. It's self-absorbed, it's selfish. All it wants is self. And it completely ignores God, completely ignores good relationships, and is self-serving. And so that very selfishness is what's led you to broken relationships. It's that very thing that's led you to broken jobs. It's what lets you, it's literally what has led you down the path of brokenness, that selfishness, that what about me? What do I get? And guess what? That's called sin. That deeply embedded sin completely hates God. It wants nothing to do with God. And maybe you're like, well, I grew up in church. That doesn't mean anything. Do you have a relationship with Jesus or do you continue to sin? And so Romans chapter three, verse 10 tells us, none is righteous, no, not one. No one understands, no one seeks God. All have turned aside together. They have become worthless, not one does good, not even one. And here's the issue. We know that we're sinning, but yet we go to the world for Tylenol. So we see influencers and we take on the advice from all these gurus and all these different people trying to satisfy our urge to learn more, but we completely ignore the truth and those things don't satisfy us. They're just Tylenol, not the solution. And that's the bad news. And you probably heard it before. They said, oh, you're a sinner, but why are we sinners? We're sinners because we're self-centered and completely hate God. Romans 3 tells us that very clearly. We continue to sin against God constantly. So that's the bad news. So then what's the good news? And if you've watched this far enough to now, pay attention. Because Jesus steps down from heaven, dies on the cross, taking on the death of a sinner, even though he was completely sinless. He dies, taking on the very death that you and I deserve to become the bridge between you and God. And so today, this very day, this very second, if you're watching this, maybe one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, you understand, man, I am a sinner. I am self-centered. I have sinned against God. In fact, I hate God. Perhaps you recognize that this very moment. And here's the beauty, that if you accept Jesus into your heart, you adopt his righteousness. That which you did not earn, he does all the work of salvation. He dies on the cross so that you and I can have life. And then in Romans 10, it says this, this is the gospel truth. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. You can be saved in this very moment. If you simply confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. And I say simply, but it's just so much more complicated than that. Because you need to repent realize that we've sinned against God. Repent of your sin and say, Jesus, I repent. I recognize I'm a sinner. I repent right this very moment. Lord, I believe you died for me on the cross. I believe you were raised from the dead. And I pray for you to be Lord over my life. You too will be saved because Jesus is not Tylenol. He is the solution to this gaping hole in our soul. So choose life not death.
Love you.